What do you do when you've lost a male figure and all the men in your life? In those days, you became almost like an outcast. You were impoverished because you now had to stand alone. But do you know, even when we have lost the very things that we feel gives us foundation, the everlasting God is always our Father who undergirds us because his watch, caring eyes on the 24 hours of our existence does not escape all our suffering. You see, when we're suffering and we're going through challenges, we're thinking, what is this pain all about? There's no purpose in this pain. But by the time chapter four comes around, Naomi's now a grandmother. She's nursing the child. She has purpose. Now listen what happens. The very woman that she said to them, don't call me Naomi. God has has dealt very bitterly with me. Hear their testimony. Also, the neighbor woman who gave him a name saying, there is a son born to Naomi, and they called his name Obed. He's the father of Jesse, the father of David. And we know Jesus came from the root. Jesus is planting seeds in your times of drought. You can't see it now. You don't know your seeds are germinating in your drought, in your pain. Your tears are watering the dry places of your heart because God is going to give you a blessing. For like the Apostle Paul, I can say, we are hard pressed on every hand. We are hard pressed on every side, yet not crushed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. We are persecuted, but not forsaken. We are struck down, but not destroyed. Don't call me my because God is about to turn my situation around. Glory be to the one who is able to do for us exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we could ever ask or think. Hold on to hope this morning. God has named me. I will go in the strength of the Lord. Don't call me Mara.